Hey, hey! We're gonna keep working on following our limit lines and our tire stripes. So we already figured out pedestrians can cross anywhere they want. They do not need painted lines to tell them where to cross. We need painted lines to tell us where to stop. So if you thought that those white stripes in the road were a crosswalk, now you know they're not. We're gonna start talking about them as limit lines. First limit line and second limit line. Let's get out on the road and see how that works. Right up here, we have our first stop sign. We're gonna to come to a full stop at the first limit line to make sure that there are no pedestrians crossing. And we need to know how far forward to go so that we can make a left turn and end up on the correct side, which is the right lane. That's why the traffic engineers draw the second limit line. We track the limit line with our left mirror. And when we pass the limit line with our mirror, we initiate our turn and we end up perfectly positioned in our lane. Let's drive around looking for limit lines and also looking for tire stripes. And if you're asking yourself, what the heck is she talking about tire stripes? You'll know when you see them. Let's make a right turn. Always checking mirror blind spot, stopping at the first limit line and we already see tire stripes. These yellow tire stripes show us where we're supposed to land when we complete our turn. In the best case scenario, we always end up centered on our tire stripes. Of course, first we had to yield to the pedestrians. Pedestrians have safe crossing from one curb cut to the next. We're not allowed to bump anybody in the road. Let's make a left turn here and we're gonna use our tire stripes to know where to turn. We follow the stripes out until our left mirror is at the end of the tire stripe. From this position, we wait for traffic to yield. And we also see a pedestrian in the left corner. We wanna wait for them to cross as well. On the left turn, we're yielding to oncoming traffic and anyone in the crosswalk. And then when we turn, we arrive on our tire stripes. This white arrow over the speed bump is also supposed to be a centering stripe, but because the parked cars were parked so close, we went a little over to the left. That's where we use our common sense. We're going to color in the lines but we're also gonna use our good common sense. We're not gonna to stay to the right of a line if it means we're gonna hit the parked cars. Up here, we've got lots of limit lines and stripes. The yellow showing us do not cross here. It is hazardous. We always do our sidewalk check. Then we're gonna creep out until our left mirror is on top of this second limit line. From here, we have perfect visibility. Only from this position can we really see around the corner to make our move. I bet you've seen traffic engineers with orange tripods at corners measuring and taking pictures and you might have wondered what are they doing? They are deciding where to paint the lines. They put a lot of thought into the lines so that we know what to do. I try to think about it like this. If me and my mom and my grandma decided how far out we should scoot to be able to see, we would all come in in different places. So the traffic engineers make it easier for us. They lay the line to line up with our mirrors so we know exactly how far forward to go. Let's try it here on this left turn. We're gonna track our tire stripes out and then we start our turn and we land perfectly on the next set of stripes in our position. We're gonna make a left turn here and we're gonna see how the tire stripes are painted specifically to match the angle of this left turn. We go all the way out following the stripes 
and then we do a tight left turn to end up in our perfect position. We see a lot of people cutting corners on their turns. It can be dangerous if there's an oncoming car. It would be really awkward to meet a car in a corner space. And also on your driving test, if you cut over a corner into the oncoming lane, it would be an automatic fail. If you go over the line just a little bit, it's one point off. But I really want you to think about driving as a safe way of moving through the world, not just a way to pass your driving test. And safely moving through the world means understanding the way that the tire stripes and the limit lines have been drawn to keep us safe. We're gonna make a left at the stop sign. We use the first limit line to check the sidewalk, make sure no one's coming. You know what I'm gonna say. Creep out to the second limit line for better visibility. Only from here can we see what we need to see to make our next move. And then we clear the intersection. Perfect. We're about to go through a tunnel and California law says that you always have to turn on your headlights when you go through a tunnel. So holding onto the steering wheel with my right hand, I use my left hand to flip on the lights and that makes me more visible to oncoming traffic. And when I exit the tunnel, I remember to turn off my lights. And now I'm back on the road. I know I'm perfectly centered because I'm running right over my tire stripes. Now we're gonna turn left at this next intersection. And again, we're gonna practice using these tire stripes. They're yellow because it's an extra cautious turn. We make sure it's safe and then we make our turn. Let's make a right turn at the next stop sign. Again, of course, observing the limit lines that the traffic engineers have drawn for us. The second line here is to show us how far forward we have to go before we start our right turn so that we don't accidentally turn too short and end up in the parking lane. And let's make a right turn at the next stop sign too. On your driving test, you're gonna do a lot of right and left turns. And the examiner is going to be making sure that you always check mirror and blind spot, position yourself for the right turn by just slightly turning the wheel. I think about it like if it was a circle, we do 10 degrees to the right, a slight curve. And I'm noticing that right ahead of me, there's a little white line that connects the outer two limit lines and my steering wheel center is pointed toward that line. And that carries me perfectly out and around so that I can continue straight. I avoid the parking lane to the right and I'm perfectly positioned. This is a big wide intersection, lots of angles. So the traffic engineers have painted tire stripes on the other side of the road. In case I get lost going through the intersection, I'll be sure to land perfectly straight on the other side. Of course, we're not gonna get lost. We're gonna go straight across, but we'll know we're in the correct position when we can see that we're going right over the tire stripes. We are gonna keep going straight. This is a dangerous intersection. It's uncontrolled from the right and left. So after we do our sidewalk check, again, we use that second limit line. Only when we're positioned with our mirrors on top of the line can we see well enough. We can see out and around the car. We look around the corner. I'm even watching the reflections of cars on the parked cars. I'm looking at the ground for shadows. 
And of course, as I scan, I'm looking straight ahead, making sure that there was no pedestrian crossing that I would bump into. And all I can do is just wait. I'm looking right and left, back and forth until that perfect moment. The cars are clear, but now I have pedestrians right in front of me. And the cars and the sidewalk crossing have to be clear for me to make my move. I think this is my turn. Let's go. Safely crossing. Try to think like your favorite baby cousin is in the back seat of the car and you want to clear the intersection safely so that nobody gets bumped. Scanning as I approach every intersection. Every time I come to an intersection, I ask myself, is it controlled or uncontrolled? Four-way stop is controlled, so I feel comfortable taking my turn. And we'll make a right at this stop sign. Again, we've got tire stripes to guide us toward the right. We stop, check, and we use these tire stripes to guide us around and in our position. Really good. I hope that you are becoming more aware of the tire stripes and the limit lines we saw that friend give us a great big thank you. They were crossing the road. They were so focused on controlling their bikes that they didn't think to look up and see if traffic was coming. But it's my job to make sure that I see the friend and I stop in a way that makes them feel safe and comfortable. We know that there are controlled and uncontrolled intersections and T intersections like this one are uncontrolled there's no stop sign, but we have to know we always do a full stop at a T. We're never going to pop out because we know through traffic has the right of way. And when we pause and turn safely, everybody feels better, especially your driving teacher. Let's make a left turn here. We're going to stop at the first limit line. We see skateboarders coming down the road and we are not gonna move. It's pretty clear that they're not gonna stop at a stop sign. I want them to be safe more than I want to have the right of way. Now we're gonna follow our tire stripes. We follow all the way out and then we start our turn. They did a good job measuring the road. Now we're going to make a right at the stop sign. And again, I can see that at the far, the second limit lines, there's a little yellow line that connects them. And that lines up with the angle of my steering wheel. It's another marker to help me know how far I have to go to turn around the corner and not bump into anything. Thank you for joining us for another learning experience. Keep coming back. Every video you watch is gonna help you become a better driver. Thanks for doing this good work. See you next time.